Welcome back. Well, amputees from across central Georgia and the southeast are teeing off this weekend for the annual Georgia Amputee Golf Tournament in Milledgeville. Our Ensley Nichols stopped by the course and shows us how swinging a club can give some of them help to move past obstacles. It's a story that comes straight from the heart. Alan Gentry drives down the fairway, and by the look of his swing, he appears no different than any other golfer. Uh, I was a hydrogeologist and got my jacket sleeve caught in a drill rig. It was a million to one kind of thing, but you know, happens to a lot of people every day, so you know, we never know when it's going to happen to us. He lost his arm at just 28 years old, but reconnected with golf as a sort of therapy. And my disability has brought me back to the game, and and now I'm loving it more than I ever have. Gentry is one of 40 amputee golfers in this year's state tournament. Get in there, get in. Just like a wedge gets you out of the rough, playing in this tournament has the same effect on these players. It's rehab. It's it's not only physical rehab, it's mental rehab. You know, when when you're when you're faced with an obstacle, especially when you become disabled later in life. The most important thing is self-confidence. You know, you're not, your life is not over. Your new life has just begun. Gentry says it's a game that gives back. It really gave me the, um, the, the positive mode of thinking about how to address obstacles and not be afraid of them and move forward. And, and that, that helped me in everyday life in my career moving forward. So. so regardless if the putt lips out of the hole or it's inches away from making a birdie, it's all about the recovery. You know, golf saved my life. In Milledgeville, Inslee Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. The three-day tournament is this weekend at Little Fishing Creek in Milledgeville. Players tee off for the last time tomorrow morning.